React Native comes with a component called Safe Area View designed specifically for use as the root component within your applications. So let's take a look at why this component exists and how you can use it effectively. Here we have a simple React Native application with the root view and a child text. A key thing to note over here is that on the root, we have a padding top of 50. If you were to remove this particular padding value, you can see that the text starts to overlap into the notch as well as into the status bar. This is because this area of the view is available to us for rendering within iOS. So of course, to get around our text getting jumbled in the top, we add a nice padding top to make sure that our text starts after the notch. Now this looks perfectly fine on an iOS device, but we are going to end up with a weird unexplainable padding on the top of our Android device as well. Now, of course, we could do some platform specific styling, but fortunately we don't need to do that. So let's get rid of this padding and look at a better way of achieving the desired effect. We bring in the component called Safe Area View from React Native. And this component is specifically designed to be used as a top level view within your app to make sure that its children do not get covered by some physical limitation of the screen, such as rounded corners or the camera notch. Now, as you can see, swapping over to the safe area view, nothing has changed for our Android device. However, if you go to the iOS device, even though we do not have that padding anymore, we can see that our text is safely contained away from the top notch and the rounded corners. And this safe area view works even if the device was in portrait mode. So if I were to swap the iOS simulator over to portrait, you can see that the text is moved away from the edges and is not obstructed by the notch. Now, one thing to be aware of with Safe Area View is that it does not allow us to customize its padding because that is what it uses internally to provide its functionality. So let's take a look at how this might impact your code and how you can get around it. If you wanted to add a bit more padding at the root of our app, specifically to move the children a bit more away from the sides, we could use the padding property. However, as you can see, this has no impact when it is used with the Safe Area View. Fortunately, a workaround is pretty simple. Instead of using the padding property on the Safe Area View, we will create a child view and use the padding on that particular component. So with these styles created, we add a child view to the safe area view. And this is the view that will provide the padding for the remaining children. And as you can see, the text is now nicely separated from the borders. And this looks consistent on iOS as well as on an Android device. Thanks for watching. Join me in the next lesson in the course for more tips on React Native. Smash that like and subscribe to learn more development tips. And I will see you in the next one.